Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran. It's been a minute, but I did get to watch Motion Detected. I have a little info about the release date here. Uh, Motion Detected world premiered at the 2022 Dances with Films Festival and will debut on cable, VOD, and digital HD, including iTunes, Amazon, Vudu, Comcast, and Verizon. And that is all starting May 19th, so keep your eye open for that. The movie is about a couple, Miguel and Eva, who had to move from uh, Mexico City to L.A. Eva, unfortunately, was a victim of a, I guess he's a serial killer, El Diablo. Um, he obviously did not kill her, but he did break into the home and assault her. And of course you get a lot of trauma from that. So I guess their decision to move, you know, different country, different state and into a home that has a very, very high tech security system, which unfortunately is Diablo. So like, that's a little foreshadowy, but, um, you know, just to make Eva feel a little bit more comfortable and just have more security in her surroundings, knowing that there's this state of the art AI technology that is supposed to keep her safe. And, um, I guess this wouldn't be like a thriller movie if this actually happened. So, I mean, no spoilers here, but, uh, the movie is called Motion Detected because that's kind of the little alarm that goes off with our security systems. And I know with, uh, we have a ring doorbell and we get those notifications all the time. But unfortunately, Miguel is called back to Mexico City to do business. I don't know what kind of business he does. I don't know that they had mentioned it, but he does seem to take a lot of clients out for dinners. Maybe he's a drug rep. I don't know. I know that's like a bring your client to dinner kind of job. And it's very demanding. I deal with a lot of drug reps at uh, my place of employment as I'm, I, I'm like the, the representative that deals with them. And it's like literally the worst part of my job. I, I feel like a prostitute all the time, just asking them for things. But regardless, um, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, we do know that there was a family that lived in this home before the home is fully furnished. Uh, I guess they're renting it. The owner was concerned because the first family kind of abruptly just left. That's what the realtor told Eva and Miguel. And um, there's some residual stuff from that. And this is that kind of movie where you wonder, you know, is it Eva and she's dealing with all this like PTSD? Is she hallucinating? Are these things actually happening? Why is this AI so advanced? It's a little creepy, the things it does. But um, yeah, there's a little synopsis there. Uh, there's not a lot of Miguel in this movie. It is pretty much just one location, which is the home. I mean, she goes out to stores, she goes to a neighbor's, whatever. But uh, it's it's mostly just all in the house. So you get to see all these different shots, you know, from the camera's point of view versus what Eva's seeing and then just of Eva. But yeah, that's essentially the plot there. No spoilers. Um, what did I like about this movie? I like that it is a, a take on our current technology. We do have the ring, as I said. We also have the A-L-E-X-A. -E if I say her name, she'll wake up and interrupt me. But uh, we've also caught some really disturbing things on our camera for your enjoyment. Yeah, that's not, that's not what you want to see. I love living in the country. Uh, there's some funny stuff we catch on there, too. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mama. 
But um, I like that they incorporated new technology and it kind of like gets under your skin. Like, well, not that this could happen, but like this could happen. And that's that's a little unnerving. Um, I thought that the shots done in the home were like really, really nice. I, I found them pleasing to look at the way that everything was set up in the shot itself. It wasn't like symmetrical, but it was like placed very, very aesthetically pleasing. So I enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed that Eva's reactions were very believable. Like she wasn't, you know, the, the one neighbor tells her to, to meet at his house and she's like, uh, uh, I'm not doing that serial killer. Like she knows, you know, she's, she's seen some shit. So she's going to be a little wary. Um, I, I do like one of my dislikes. I, I don't like the trope of the hysterical woman that literally no one will believe. That's really annoying. Can we stop doing that? Obviously, these things are happening. Um, obviously, you know, something's going on in the house. The representative from the home security system slipped up at one point to kind of give information he shouldn't have known and that she didn't share with him, which was kind of like, hmm. I wish that they would have gone a little bit deeper into the company itself because I feel like there's definitely like it was alluding towards like a satanic kind of thing like every time she would call for customer support the whole time was always six minutes I was like hmm I see what you're doing there I see what you're doing and it's funny I caught it um the fact that the AI could see her dreams disturbed me a whole lot because how did it get in there who knows? I mean, maybe movie AI is different than the stuff we have now, or maybe it's not. Who knows? I don't want to know. I don't want my dreams to be that accessible because they're not like always, you know, they don't make sense, but then they're like disturbing. Like why, why do you want to fly so bad in your dream? I don't know. I just, I just want to fly. Sometimes you want to have a tail. Who knows? Like I'm getting way off track here, but, um, I do feel like this movie was definitely a very, very, very slow burn. I think it was like an hour, 25 minutes altogether with the credits. And I don't think that anything like really action -y happened till about 35 minutes in. So that was a little disappointing. Like there was, you know, things here and there that you were kind of like, is there a poltergeist? Like, is that what's going on? And then finally, like something big happened. You're like, oh, okay, finally, you know, uh, it's not necessarily marketed at all as a horror movie, but like it definitely has horrific elements. It is a thriller. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we maybe could have developed the characters a little bit more just so I would feel a little bit more for them. Obviously, like, a woman that's in the center of all these horrible things, like, I'm, I'm going to feel nervous for her. I'm not going to want anything bad to happen to her. But I definitely wasn't really invested in her, which is sad. But, you know, um, there was no music in this other than, like, a sequence where she got kind of drunk and danced around. There was no music. There was like no score really. I mean, there was, but it wasn't like anything memorable. I thought that was kind of strange, but also like you don't need to have music in, you know, you don't need a soundtrack necessarily. It, it just, I noticed it and I was like, huh, okay. That, that's a choice. Choices were made. Um, I don't know what else I can say about this without giving too much away. It's not, not gory. It's not brutal. If that's what you're looking for, this probably isn't for you. Um, if you're paranoid about technology, this, you'd probably get a kick out of this movie. Um, yeah, I'd probably give this like a two out of five. Uh, as I said, it will be available for streaming on all those different platforms and cable on the 19th. And, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, have you seen any trailers for this? What are your thoughts? What do you think about AI in general? Do you have a ring camera? Do you get some weird shit on your ring camera? Um, 
let me know in the comments down below. Also, uh, please admire these birthday nails that I got done yesterday. It is my birthday on Monday and I wanted some fancy hands and I sure got them. So off topic, but, um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. No, I haven't done this in a long time. On Facebook, I'm Ray Animator Reviews. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, I'm Ray Animator. You can follow me there if you like. Um, like the video if you did if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like to get fancy hands for your birthday too. How do you celebrate your birthday? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, yeah, my reviews are also available uh, via iTunes through, oh my God, my brain. I just can't remember things anymore. The Farsighted Network. They post my reviews as podcasts. You can find them on iTunes, anywhere you can find podcasts, really. Don't forget to follow all of their awesome creators and content as well. We love them very much. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I will see you later. Bye.